That's so cold. God damn. So hot off the back of Riga, we travelled across country to a Latvian wedding. And they are something that you have to experience. If you've got any Latvian friends, get invited. The party lasted well into the morning and we were tripping out as much as that kid was. We had to get in the car, drive across rolling beautiful Latvian countryside to Strenci. So way off in the countryside of Latvia, there's this amazing oak tree. We're in a town called Strenci, and this oak tree is protected. It's been struck by lightning and almost killed it, as you can see by the big split up the middle. But on that side, it's starting to grow back. Now it's become like an icon. And so it's in the middle of farmland, it's completely protected, and you can see that it's got a fence all the way around. And it's smack bang in the middle of farmland. These wetlands are sort of an indication of what Latvia is like. Very pristine, but it's pristine in the sense that it's incredibly untouched. It's beautiful. And we were the only ones there. Human powered boat ride. Straight into the reeds, apparently. Oh, shit. oh my god, Greg! Stop, stop, stop. Oh. Uh, push back. Yeah. Right into the reeds. Here we're going to settle until we feel like going back and making some soup. Taking a cruise through the wetlands, through the reeds. It's really quiet here. It feels like no one really knows about it. It's lovely. Got all the lily pads around. Reminds me of the castle. Ah, the serenity. But after this we'll be heading back to the uh, to the landing over there. And we'll be cooking up a special secret Latvian soup. I'm not being told what's actually in it, so hopefully I'll be able to spy something with the camera. So we've just been for a beautiful boat ride out in the reeds, and now we've got the hot coals down here, we've got some fresh water, we've got pots, we've got chains, and we're gonna make soup. It's gonna be mean. Fire out! So we've got some people prepping up ingredients up the top, carrots, dill, as you'd expect. And we're going to lace this sucker up, put her on the thing. So, do we, uh, so what do we do first? Do we put the, put the water in or do you uh, go for veggies first and brown them off a bit or? That's up to you. <sighs> okay then, up to me. Well, in my, my opinion, I'd be taking all three of those onions, chopping them up with the carrots, putting them in there, get them cooking, get them caramelizing. Fire them up. Fire them up a little bit and then add bouillon and a few other things into it to, mm, and then reduce it down, salt it, get it just right. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a goddamn plan. Nice. Hear that sizzle, God damn. Cool, thank you. We'll just put that on the ground for now. All right, so that's not, too bad. We'll just keep that, keep turning that. Make sure that we're uh, not letting it burn. Woo, she's <laughs> absolutely scorching. God damn. It's calmed down a bit, which is good. What we're trying to do is we're trying to soften the carrots, soften the onion, get a bit of color, a bit of flavor. 
What's this? Bio echo. Bio echo. Oh, uh, wouldn't like a spoon? Beautiful. We're going for a Latvian spoon here. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is much easier. <laughs> Exotics. Baldes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exotics. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get a little bit of we're going to get a little bit of pepper in here. Just going to get it sort of toasty, sort of open up those flavors a little bit. Don't fall in the fire. We want beef stew, not kid stew. Grind, grind, grind. Beautiful. Give it a bit of a stir. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, 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 cool. All right, this is going at a good click. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the dill stalks. I'm gonna mince the dill stalks at this point. I'm gonna add them in as well. Dill stalks are going in. Gonna give them a little bit, a little bit of a boogie. And then I'm gonna put uh, the beans in next. We can just let it sit for a bit and these beans are gonna stew really nicely. Got some nice, uh, that's pork? I think that's pork, is it pork? Either way, there's a nice big bone in there. The marrow is going to seep out and its fattiness is going to get in, permeate all through that food. It's going to be delicious. So if you have a look in there now, we're well on our way. Shortly, I'm going to add beetroot to it. We're going to get a nice, bright, vibrant hue along with a nice sweetness to it. And then we'll be getting damn close to where we need to be. So, halfway mark, we'll see what we need. Okay, it's sweet, it needs to reduce down, and we need a big hit of salt, but the dill's starting to come through. We'll add more of that later, and then we'll get the last of the celery, celery leaves, mince them up, put them into, hopefully adding a bit, of, uh, a bit more vibrancy to it. And I'm assuming they've brought sour cream because this is Latvia, so yeah. Amazing what a bit of salt does. No, no, of course not. Not too much, just perfect. For now, it's just started to brighten up all those flavors. And we've still got just a little bit of texture and everything as well. But that salt's just sort of made all the, all the flavors pop. This is the man that made my stirring stick. And this is his dog. <laughs> <laughs> By show you dog. So it seems like a, uh, an appropriate way to end things, doing the Latvian national sport, foraging. Out in the bush looking for mushrooms and berries. It's been a bit of a dry season up until now, so the amount of mushrooms that there is likely to be is going to be low, but if I find one, I will take it. Other than that, it's just very peaceful. Knife and bucket, I will find something. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. In the game of love, you have to roll the dice. My heart got seven years to life.
I'd be leading you astray if I didn't mention the effect of the Soviet Union on this country. That Iron Curtain came down really hard, and it suppressed their culture and then hid it from the world. But now that that Iron Curtain has been lifted, the culture has sprung forth, it's just growing. And they're still rediscovering everything that they lost over that period. And I almost would say, don't go there because there's still so much that they're trying to, dis to discover, but I can't really actually recommend that. It was so beautiful, so many things to see, and everyone is so welcoming. It's one of those parts of the world that feels like it needs to be rediscovered. And I'm suggesting to you to go there with open eyes and actually discover it. Get out past Riga, see the countryside, and see what they're about. You'll be surprised. Oh